Wow. It's like he's asking for us to humiliate him. I don't know. It's just too easy. It's pretty much a non-official schedule for this class. We come in, Mike tells about his night, work for five minutes, and the rest of the period usually entails us watching old episodes of Cheers or Mike doing Rayman impressions. Senor Brent, and you see in my office, Arita. Yeah, I speak Spanish. I also speak French, Scottish, and African American. So, first day, what'd you think? Well, it's only been about 30 minutes, so. That's what she said. I bet it's better than art, though, right? Well, no, actually, I really liked art. Uh, well, you'll still be attending this year's film festival, correct, sir? I think it lands on a Friday, so I usually play poker on Fridays, and I honestly po probably won't remember. Alright, well, in that case, why don't you give me your cell number, so I can call you and remind you. Pick up your phone! Hello? Mesh, Mrs. Borek, calling from Pakistan. You mean Kazakhstan? It's Grandpa Taxi, calling from Wonderland Ranch. You mean the Neverland Ranch? Hello? Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to change my number now. Good morning, Buffalo Grove High School. I'm David. And I'm Kevin. This is a special announcement. This year's film festival will be held at 7 p.m. in the theater. Could you stop? I, it's just... Uh, it's, keep going, keep going. Okay. All are welcome to attend. Please, please go. Go ahead. No, it's just you it got something like on you your want to face, talk Dave. so much. Why are you bringing stuff up about my face? Listen, Maybe you got something on your face. Maybe your mom called and said she doesn't want you living at home anymore. Maybe your mom called and said you shouldn't be living at home anymore. Maybe Loser. Your mom's dead. Maybe you should join her. You Not know what? Cool, man. If Not I cool, man. I'm gonna jump right across this table and kill you. You know what? Why don't you just go kill yourself? Maybe all that money you guys have is from the insurance settlement from when your mom died. You know what? If you killed yourself, nobody would get your insurance settlement because nobody likes you. By the way, when you killed yourself, I zoomed to the future, went to your funeral, and guess what? No one was there. Idiot! For the idiot! <laughs> For calling an idiot! <clears throat> nice comeback, loser! By the way, Dave, you look real pretty today. That's a wrap. Okay, so. We asked the administration to let us have Las Vegas dancers at the film festival. We could say yes, or they could say no. How about solid gold dancers? I like solid gold. I like the Las Vegas dancers. They have the legs. They got the legs. Might say yes. I don't know. It's a 50-50 shot. The legs. Like I say, I love the legs. The administration might not like the legs. We could have them wear uh, sweatpants. That's a horrible idea. Then it defeats the whole purpose of Las Vegas. Bubble! I got it! Can we not? Alright, back on track. Let's go. Well, you know what? One thing is true. Heisman! Hey! He picks up the bubble and he goes running right through the man! Keeps going! Heisman! Touchdown! What? Is everyone okay? Brent? Yeah. Joanna! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all races and sexual orientation, welcome to another Mike Dopton film. Compliments of yours truly. Dave, help me out with this. Uh, Michael? Come on. Stop. You're gonna hurt yourself. Uh, Michael, let, let me give you a boost. Uh, okay. 
Here we go. I got it. It's good. Okay. All right. I got it. See? Every year before the film festival, Mike makes us watch an entry he put together himself. Last year, he did his own rendition on the Numa Numa song. You can guess how that turned out. Woo! It's about there you go. Okay. Nice work. Yep. Okay. Uh, please, no uh, pagers, cell phones, iPods, Game Boys, everything must be off. Who has pagers? This is the 21st century. Shut up, Brent. I always like to give the crew a little sneak peek, a little taste of what the film festival is going to be like. This is one out of 12 that I entered in the festival. Life moves a little slower here at Buffalo Grove High School, and that's the way we like it. Because here at Buffalo Grove, we're not just in the movie business, we're into the people business. Let's meet a couple people who learn here every day. Meet Brent Canciali, a single, white, attractive male. And Brent is the type of person who makes up the foundation of this class that we're trying to build our basis on. And finally, Joanna Soa. Look at her. How cute. Not bad at all. Well, I hope this gave you a little taste of what life is like here at Buffalo Grove High School. What it's like to smell Dan's sweaty socks, or try on Brent's underwear. Next time you're around, give us a call, stop on by. Maybe you'll be greeted by a big smile or a how you doing, pal, and you'll know. Thank you. Thank you. I know everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Move over, Spielberg. I smell Academy Awards. Just, just get away from me. Go. <laughs>